All right, guys, so we got the bike. The handlebars put on this bike is looking really good. I had a little, couple of little issues that's now fixed up. Got the, the gauge was out of alignment. Big shout outs to Bo and Melanie for helping me out with that. I did not have the proper tools. And of course, Bo came to the rescue, baby. So now we're gonna get off some of this grime off this bike. I do not wanna bring this bike back to my client. <laughs> Looking filthy. We ain't gonna do that. I'm not doing a full detail, but I am gonna make it better. And Doran's gonna give me a hand out. Get off a lot of these dead bugs. Thing to me about clientele is um, when it comes to business, you know, it's the little things that we do and being honest with each other, you know, like, the little issue I had on the bike, I'm honest with that. I'm not gonna hide that. Honesty goes a long way. But now the problem is solved and we are good. Guys, if you don't know, when you're doing wipe downs, these socks comes in handy. Socks helps you to really just get into, into spots, but being careful not to smack your finger, you get a good little rub down. Doesn't take a long time either to get your bike on point. But if you're not careful, like I said, you will smack your finger forgetting that your fingers are not protected. They also sell the actual mitts that you can use to wipe your bike down as well. Got Dorian here helping me out in his little headpiece and his PJs. And so I love my son, man. Good stuff, Dorian, good stuff. Thank you. Remember in business, right? Whenever well, you, know, you do business, right? Yes. You treat every client like luxury. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Sometimes you gotta go above and beyond to, to win to win that client. Especially when you have other people doing what you're doing. Yes. Your job is to win the client. You ain't got no time for, for shortchanging or, you know what I mean? Experience, the experience is everything in business. Yes. You good? I need a jet. There we go. that hook right there. Whenever you're strapping your bikes down, you don't have to strap it from the handlebar. Some bikes you, you do, like certain BMWs and certain street bikes, you might not be able to do it like this, but on your Harley, you wanna do it like that. And I'm gonna do a light wrench down. I'll go on the other side. I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Take that tie, the soft tie, hook it in, pull this baby up, make sure it's locked in. And then what I'll do is I'll start to lock this down tighter on this side. And you wanna baby it. You don't wanna pull everything on one side. But what you wanna do is you wanna get that bike to be standing straight up, okay? If you leave this side a little loose over here, as we tighten up this side, that side is gonna naturally tighten up. you want to get it tight and do a, do a quick check and you want to have see this you want to make sure that this is not on the floor okay but I'm gonna leave that down 
the back, I do the same thing on the back. I'll find a place that I can hook this to. The back is only to keep the bike secured. So you want to do a four point connection. So I put it right here in this frame. You just want to find a hard spot to put it on. Hook it in there. Take the ratchet. Oh, uh, that, uh oh. I don't like when it's, I don't like when it's on. Not straight. See this? I like when this is straight. Dorian, how we doing, buddy? Good. Man, I feel, I feel good, though. I feel real good knowing that I made a decision to start a business. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And the business is doing its thing already. And this is just the beginning. What's gonna happen after a while, more and more people is gonna start to put their request in to get their brand new bikes picked up or, hey man, I got a bike that broke down. It's not always breakdowns. You know what I mean? It's never always just breakdowns. Hook that in there, hook that in there. Make sure it's fully hit, fully hooked all the way in. And then we're gonna strap it down. All right, let's see what we got on this side. Go a little tighter. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect, so we got this baby tied down, four point anchor. I like to do my walk around again, just to make sure that, that we are solid. I like to shake the bike and also remember you have to put your bike in transportation mode, turn that knob, hold down those two knobs, and it says active T-Sport mode. That means that it's transportation mode, okay? That means that the bike, the batteries, nothing is gonna die in here. All right, so now we're gonna fold this up. That way you guys get to see the whole process of how this works. So you got to see the idea of the bike getting strapped in. Always grab it from the middle. It's like, it's like, doing a de like doing a deadlift. Take these, I'm gonna get something that I could use to hook these on, on the side here. And then I'm gonna get something from my battery jumper to do the same thing. Like I said, this is just the beginning. I got a, I got a couple of ideas I'm gonna be doing, like the floor up there. I'm gonna take it to a welder, my boy Jake. And we're gonna build something that's gonna elevate the whole floor. I could take it out when I want to but that way I could put two bikes. Believe it or not, when you put a bike to your left over, you could put another bike to your right. You could stagnate it. All right, that's it. All right, so we're about to go drop this off. Doran, you come with me? Yes. All right, perfect. All right, so we got that thing cleaned up and we are about to get this party started. You know, if y'all don't know how to start these vans, you gotta turn the key, like as if you're putting it in auxiliary. Let all the lights go out. And then, after that, then you start it. And we'll start right up. Guys, 404-971-0458. That's my number, that's my direct number. I'm not hiding from nobody. I'm doing a business, all right? Let's get after it. We're about to head over there, punching this information. I'm about an hours away. I, I chose to drop the bike off to him because of the, the, the minor hiccup. And um, I'm feeling good about that, getting that done. Yeah, we're about 59 minutes away, which is perfect. Log Let's that in. Dixie Road and State Route 36. Let me make sure I have the right address too, because that's the thing, you, you know, you don't wanna have the wrong address, because I'd be going in the wrong spot. All right, so we're about three minutes, um, yeah, three minutes left. Get this bike dropped off and then I'm gonna go back home, take my shower, get ready, head right back out to go and visit my brother and his wife. 
with my family before they head back up to New York on tomorrow. And then after that, come back home, been pretty active. I didn't eat anything all day. I've been just fasting most of the day, having my water with my cayenne pepper and um, what else did I, oh, oh turmeric. Turmeric is excellent for, for getting your blood to flow better. A lot of times we eat certain things, our body is just clogged up and your blood is just clotted and you don't want that. You want your blood to be able to flow. So turmeric is excellent. So me doing the cayenne pepper in my water with the turmeric and then when I get home, I'm gonna do a little ginger. And as far as my fast goes, I just broke my fast with a piece of um, mint, mint candy. That's definitely breaking the fast because the calories is, is pretty high there. But then I'm going to probably do a smoothie and, you know, I'm going to have some food, eat, and then just kind of chill. You know, but it's imperative going into 2024 that you guys are focusing on your health, on your mental, your spiritual, your emotional, your financial. You know, focus on all that perspective of your health because I'm telling you right now as men, and I know that ladies watch this as well, but this channel is mostly men. It's important that we start to gain control of our lives and really, really, really gravitate towards being better and more mindful of the actions that we take each and every time. All right? So we're about a minute away. Once I drop this thing off, I'm I'm, I'm gonna enjoy seeing, seeing my bro with his um, new bars on his bike. His 14s, he hasn't, he hasn't seen the bike. So it was gonna be good to see him riding the bike and feeling comfortable on it. He was contemplating between 14s and 16s and so forth, but 16s, you gotta really change out everything. The 14s, it's by choice. All right, so we're coming up, we're coming up soon. Here we go, right here. Always check your kickstand. Make sure your kickstand is down. And on on unhitch the bike from this side first.
You don't mind, do you? Nah, I don't mind at all, man. You put no, you oh, we don't, bro. We don't care. Look at me, dog. Look at me. It is what it is. All right, so guys, so we're dropping off the bike. My bro, getting a chance to see his bike, getting a chance to really see what his, what his uh, 14 inch bars are going to feel like. It's the goat, man. <laughs> Yo, it looks good. It looks good, bro. Yeah, that position looks good, too. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's that's a wrap for this one. So we are now about to get, get to the house, get ready for the day. Well, like I'm gonna tell you guys, if you have a, a mission, a dream, if you have something that you wanna do, it's easy for people to talk you out of it. It's easy for somebody to tell you, hey man, maybe you shouldn't do it because. No, you don't do that. What you do, you tell yourself a million times that you can. You give it a shot. Failure, I, I think a lot of people is afraid of failure, but honestly, I thrive on failure. I thrive on it. I like I like to learn through failure. That that keeps me stronger. That keeps me going. That keeps me more accountable. So if you got a business idea, uh, whether it's fashion, motorcycles, barbering, construction, house cleaning, whatever ideas you got, just remember it's there. All you got to do is keep on practicing. All right, that's all you need to do. All right, we out.